You know how people say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree? Well, it couldn't be more true for me and my mom. If you like me as a person, it's because of her. So much of her is what makes me, well, me. Part of that is genetics, chromosomes, but the other part are the choices she made when I was growing up. My mom has taught me to love nature, and she has taught me to cherish all the little things that are magical out there. She showed me how to take everything in with my eyes wide open, deep breaths, and an open heart. I crave nature, exploring, discovering, because it's the well of my happiness and creativity. Fresh air fills my lungs and evens my breathing. The sound of wind rustling leaves calms my frantic thoughts, and fresh dirt under my feet grounds me. Anything that feels real, feels right. It's an instinct my grandpa Jacques passed on to my mom, and my mom, with every hike and every makeshift fishing rod, is passing on to me. And from my experience, it's one of the most important things you could gift your children. Because nature teaches you an important lesson about time and the impermanence of life. The Circle of Life isn't just a song from The Lion King. It's a lesson in love. Everything on this planet ebbs and flows in cycles. What grows and blossoms will eventually wilt, but before it does, it will drop seeds to create something new in its place. Nature makes me kind and compassionate, creative, humble, and happy. But it's thanks to my mom that I feel this connection deeply and profoundly and understand it. And I want to be able to do the same for my children. But for that to happen, I have to make sure that they find our planet the way I found it. Full of life and beauty. We need nature as much as nature needs us. It didn't for a long time until we hurt it so badly that it can't save itself. And now we either both live and thrive or we all suffer the consequences and there's nothing to pass on. Our planet is still alive and still breathing and full of wonder. Try as we might, we'll never create like nature does. I wish we would stop destroying the only home we have. But if I'm so drawn to nature, why would I move to a big city full of concrete and where people are always rushing? It's a little more complicated. There's no contradiction there. I love London, I love the architecture, the views, the sounds, the diversity, and even how people are always rushing all the time. It's yin yang. Both are vital to my creativity and both inspire me. Without one or the other, I'm incomplete. So now that you know what my mom has instilled in me, it's your turn to share. What passions have your parents instilled in you? And if you want to see more of me, you can go to New Age Creators or you can find me here on Soul Pancake every other Monday.